Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm calling this creature by Yandere Chanosaurus only because I cannot pronounce its actual name. I can try, but I'll most likely butcher it and then I will look like a retard. If you have any problems with me calling it Yandere Chanosaurus rather than its actual name, then bite me. Hello there, my name is Adovokta, and today I'm going to show you how to properly fight as a Yandere Chanosaurus. First disclaimers, any and all updates may change the way you play as this creature. Also, my time with this creature are very limited. I'm not kidding. The only reason I touched the Yandere Chanosaurus was due to this video. So, one of you more experienced Yandere Chanosaurus players will definitely disagree with what I'm about to say, so if you do find something disagreeable, just comment it down below in a common fashion way. In this video, we will be going over the arsenal of the Yandere Chanosaurus, what type of subspecies you should grow, the terrain compatibility, and the types of fights you can find yourself in, be it you versus an apex, versus a mid tier, or you versus a pack, and at the end I'll come with a summary. For head abilities, we have two slots, the first one being the standard bite that causes medium damage, nothing too much about it, except it does a lot of damage. The other one is just a charge up bite which does bleed and damage according to how long you hold it. We do not have any ability for senses yet, but we'll get that in the future. Front limb is a claw swipe that does low attack and bleed damage. For height, we have three options. We have Resilient Scale that increases Bleed and Venom healing by 30%, Tough Scales that increases armor by 15%, and Lightweight Scales that increases speed at the cost of turning speed. For legs, we have two options. We have Long Distance Runner that reduces stamina drain by 15%, and Traction that increases turning speed at the cost of stamina regeneration. For tail, we have two options. We have the normal tail slap that causes light damage and knockback. Then we have steady tail that increases your turning radius, even more so if you stand still. For core abilities, we have first gritting teeth that increases your bleed damage. Then we have the ruinous howl that increases damage if you're in a group and can be stacked twice. Basically, one for if you're solo and one for if you're in group. In this video, we'll only be focusing on grating teeth. Everybody have the preference, but this is at least the arsenal I choose to go with. The tail ability though can vary, I'll come back to that later. When it comes to what subspecies you should choose to grow, once again, my inexperience with the Yandere Chanosaurus really shows. I um, can't really recommend what you should choose, but you can't really go wrong with the standard. What I am a bit confused about with the Yandere Chanosaurus is that while we do have a light build and a heavy build, which I can only assume is speed type version and defense type version, we also have a fourth variation, and fifth variation, and sixth, and seven. I can only assume that it's probably just for looks and aesthetics, but I'm not too sure, so if anyone have an answer for that, please let me know. When it comes to what terrain you should try and fight in, I'd say the Yandere Chanosaurus are capable of fighting in all terrain on Gondwa. However, it depends on what you're fighting. Let's say you're fighting something faster than you, then you would rather want to choose a place that has a bit more hindrances to limit your enemy's movement. If you're fighting something that is stronger than you, and you need to be the one that is moving a lot, then you would rather want a place that are more open and not too many hindrances. <laughs> if you're going to fight Apexes, then a hit and run strategy would be the best. I also recommend using your call at the early stages, while you have the stamina to do so. Some of your stronger abilities does use stamina to use. And if you do get low on stamina, then you'll have to run away and recover. You should be fast enough to make a good enough distance to do so. And do not by any means go try to go head to head. A 
at least not with a true apex. You might be pretty big and you have pretty good damage output, but against a true apex, you fall short. Like I said, a hit and run would be better, and use your strong bleed attack to make them bleed, and keep doing this strategy for a while after you're sure they have bled a lot. Trying to fight them against their superior damage output is a suicide. Keep your distance and stick to hit and run and let them bleed out slowly. Against mid tiers you can just throw away hit and run. In 1v1 against mid tiers you can pretty much just brute force it. I'm not completely sure the damage I put on the young Derechanosaurus, but it's better than whatever they have. Also, regarding what I said about tail abilities earlier, in this situation having the steady tail might be superior than having tail attack. As you can see, I'm turning this battle into a more of a turning in place battle. So having the superior turning speed could really help finishing this fight faster. And unlike the true apexes, you do have the speed to continue the chase. Well, to a certain degree, the other party probably have better speed and stamina, but you can probably chase them for a while. When I put creatures on the tier list, I usually just look at their stats rather the experience of the player because that is so subjective. And when it comes to the Yandere Chanosaurus, it's kind of difficult to know exactly where they are on, on the tier list. However, if I do have to put them, I would say they are in the Apex tier. Their stats are good enough to be able to just brute force most middle tiers, but they aren't exactly at the top tier of the Apex, so they are in Apex tier, but not exactly the strongest of Apexes. Now, where were I? Like I said earlier, when you're facing something faster than you, then you want the area that has hindrances. You can take most of the middle tiers alone, but if they come at you in a pack, then the story is pretty different. If you are a Yandere Echanosaurus, I would say that them coming at you in a pack is the equivalent of the police chasing you in Yandere Echan Simulator. I don't know where I'm going with this. Bottom line, if they come at you in a group, think of them as police and then run away. If you can't run away, however, then there's not too much you can do. Well, actually, the best thing you can do is try to take one of them with you. Just like a real Yandere, just figure out this. If you cannot have a Senpai, then nobody can have a Senpai. <laughs> So to summarize, against Apexes, try to fight them in an open area where you have more room to run, and slowly but surely drain their HP by doing hits and run and doing it with a bleed attack. Once you're sure they have bled enough and have lost enough HP, that's when you can do a more aggressive. You can do a more aggressive head-to-head -head battle against mid tiers but remember to do it in an area where they have less room to run around since they are faster than you. Against the group, just go out guns and blazing. They have to jump you with the group, so you have nothing to be ashamed of if you die. Or if you have the option, just run away before they even get to you. This was the last creature in this patch, and I'll come with more info about the, the planning ahead in the community post. For now, I... Oh, hi. Sayonara, senpai. To all men out there, do not stick your pee-pee in crazy.